machines. I did more than you had to do to make a, a spoon. I mean, I made it look good, kind of good. I mean, to make it usable, you could just carve a uh, divot into it and it'd be good. But what I did was I just shaved it with my Falcon F1, and then I used my fingernail to you know clear out any uh, debris that's really bad in there. And then what I did next was use the oil off my hands to give it a good coating, and you just kind of oil it up flattens that wood out, make sure it has a good um, protective coating too. So once I did that, now I'm going to get a fire going and I'm going to um, heat treat it, make it stronger. Okay, so I'm going to start a fire now and basically I'm just using the shavings I used, um, shaved off the spoon. So I'm going to grab some of those and throw them in here. And I'm just going to use my folk nibbit again and just uh, strike it with a fire steel here see how well this will work just needs to be a big enough fire to uh, heat treat the spoon to give it a little more strength from snapping on you or, or bending and breaking so let's see what we get going here try that again again oh nope we almost had it there Got a flame going. It's kind of windy out. Oh yeah, that's really helping. That wind is really helping with the fire. Come on, you got it. Keep burning. Keep burning. Burn those flakes.
camera, just put a, a stick right here. You can lay these bigger sticks over it so it doesn't smother the fire. Okay. Keep burning, come on. Just gotta be a good enough fire to get this thing going. I can almost bed it in those coals for a while. This will sterilize it, keep off all the bacteria. And this is very easy to do. If you forget a spoon when you're backpacking and you break your plastic one you took, um, this is a great idea to do. It took me probably 30 minutes to, you know, 45 minutes. We take a break on the trail. I mean, it's great just to grab a stick, baton it in half into four sections and find a good piece to use. Just carve it out. and. You can get yourself a decent sized spoon. I mean, this is compared to my hand. Let's show you a little better. Compared to my hand, it's a pretty big spoon. It's just right to pick your food up. And compared to the Falkdivin, it's almost the exact, exact same size. So, um, if you guys want a great knife that's not going to give you fatigue in the hand and give you blisters, this is a knife to go with. I didn't get one blister doing this video. I mean, I shaved, I don't know how many shavings off the ground. Um, so let's fire out. There we go. For me, I love this knife. I wouldn't go with any other knife at this time because I've had so much testing with this. I've always fell back on this knife. After testing other ones, I just found it just worked well. Even batoning, it does well. It's just, you know, the length that you're, uh, you're kind of forfeiting when you pick up a knife like this. Um, it's lightweight, great backpacking knife. I'm taking this to Colorado because it's just a great knife. It's lightweight, can do my jobs. I can rely on it without breaking. Um, so, hope you guys like the video and so you know one more close up of that spoon I made. So uh, you can see I made the divot. You can see it's pretty. Uh, it's pretty steep. You can see my finger in there. It's pretty. It's deep enough to, to scoop up, you know, soup or you know some mountain house that you're cooking up. Try to make it a little concave in here, but it didn't work very well, so it kind of looks crooked. But you can see it's all, you know, it's got some smoke on it from the fire. But yet, yeah, you can see the tip. I kind of cut the tip out because that's where it's a breaking area where you can have the spoon snap on you. Um, yep, yeah, so guys, uh, thanks for watching. Please comment and subscribe. Hope you like the video.